to the mercy on the other side. I haven't seen a group of guards that can shoot it and make plays as well as these Bale. They're going to be fun to watch. Two years ago, they won a national title for Scott Drew. Our starting lineup sponsored by Jeep. There's only one. Two of the most clever passers in NCAA basketball, Adam Flagler and Tyler Kohling. Uh, Kohling is fun. The guys talk about his ability to run the show, but now he's looking for his shot. Conversely, on the other side, I think there were more than one. 12 battle, a series that started in 2019, and the Big East has the lead all time. Good crowd here, ready to roll. Marquette in their championship blue. Baylor in the green. we got a color rush going on. And the Baylor Bears have it first with the freshman key. Ante George on the handoff to Flagler. And Jason Benetti, Marquette goes. Wait a minute. A lot of ball bend, a lot of ball screens. Showing big early in Godaro. I thought Mike was going to give us the man-to-man -man before he tossed well, it to us. He did everything yeah. else. I'm out of vocabulary. This kid shot that won't go on a rebound for Prosper. He lost it on the way back down, and the tip in goes for Baylor and Jalen Bridges. And you don't out tough Prosper. Ooh, physical presence against them. Just couldn't finish the rebound. Here is Marquette. 80 points a game. They have scored pretty well for the year. Off the shot fake, Cam Jones missed the jumper in the corner, and the rebound for Bridges. Boy, that looked like the shooter, and that's a play they worked on get him. Kick it opposite, very good skip passing team. Little dribble drive by Flagler and a dump. That's a beautiful thread through and a foul against Marquette. Oso is coming for Flagler. Oso inside there. They need him on the floor, no question about it. Look, Scott Drew, a couple of years ago, wins that national title, but what he's done for a Baylor program that hadn't been to the NCAA tournament but once in the last couple decades before he got there. Well, we were talking earlier, you were witness to it. Judd Heathcote, Jim Simpson, and myself were there in the first year when he, I mean, unbelievable job, obviously, that he did. And Judd was astounded that he would have taken this job. How could you do this and punish yourself? Obviously, uh, one of the all-time miracle jobs with this program. It's hard to believe he's been there 20 years, huh? It's, it's amazing. A lot of wins. And 400 number. He's got that 400 a couple of games ago against Northern Colorado. Igadaro on the kick, Kolick on the slice, and it's intercepted by George. Boy, well, what a nice slide. Deontay George, the seller freshman, lost the ball. Stevie Mitchell's got it. Mitchell sizes up a three that fades on him. I thought they had Prosper at the rim. The game has changed, by the way. Oh, yeah. You'd be yanked. Oh, yeah. Now it's like, okay, we'll do it again. Phil Delaney, are you kidding me, coach? Yeah, unless that's a person you know, Philip Delane. Uh, this kid is really a good player. Uh, dribbles both ways, gets to the rim. I love his passing ability as well. George, you talking about? Absolutely. Freshman Keontae George out of the state of Texas by way of IMG Academy. Cam Jones. And this is, this is his game. Up. He's got to do that. Occasionally settles. They've been working on shot selection with him. Yeah, this is not a great three-point shooting team for Marquette, but when they're attacking, they're very good. Right, well, actually, you step into those threes, it's pretty helpful. This kid's tough prior. Quick pull-up game to make threes. Missed it off one bounce, and here comes Mitchell, the sophomore from Reading, Pennsylvania, for Marquette. And we're going to get a foul called against Jalen Bridges of Baylor. Shaka Smart talked a lot in shoot-around today about defeating screens, mm -hmm. getting through screens of Baylor offensively. Well, that's why he's a great coach. I was trying to defeat the opponent, <laughs> and I had a hard time doing that. It's too big picture for him. It is interesting, the little jargon he picked up from his NBA buddies. He's talking about uh, the Oklahoma City coach, Dagnall. Yep. The rebound for uh, Loner. Also got to the rim. Uh, not a favorable delivery at the 10. With prior, a little hesitation and drive, and that was pretty, huh? Well, that's what they do. They mix their game up. Everybody thinks of them as three-point shooters. But dribble drive, find. 
he really turned the corner hard. Jones for Kolick, catch and shoot, missed it for three. I like that. He's starting to look for it. That could really help his find game. You want more of that from him? From him, yeah. Just don't even think about it. Flagler didn't, and he missed it right. Rebound volleyballed off the window to Kolick. Kolick uses the whole floor with pass. See, that gives it up early. Yeah, his vision is tremendous. This three from the corner won't fall for Igadaro. Marquez open one for six. Not a bad looking shot in the far corner though by Jones. See if they jump that ball screen. What a mismatch this is. Ah, the step back to three for Flagler. Uh, I think was gonna afraid, call it a two. Uh, afraid of that dribble drive, foot on the line. Well, there's a nice presence, really. Always seems to be in the right spot. Bangs the glass a little bit. Can bite you with a three. Transfer from BYU, Caleb Lohner. Good extra pass. Yep, pretty Mitchell. To Mitchell. Nice. How about that? Slice it and dice it, huh? Kolek's vision is so good. That was LJ Pryor hunting a foul. He didn't get it. Oso with a nice give, too. Cushion that drive. Nice pass. Mitchell the line. And Gadaro to stop. Interesting. The bigs didn't recover, uh, but the guards have to help until they get back down the floor. How many times did Chaka Smart use the word aggressive and shoot around? Uh, they, he, did the, he knows the nature of this Baylor team, too. And they are gamers. They will a 10 second violation with the press. Gets the house in it a little bit, too, huh? That's exactly what Shaka wanted about a two possession. Yeah, they absolutely. They do it full court, three quarter court. No, he is. He's uplifting. I just, I just had to fight my urge to say something terrible and prove your point. But you know what? I'm better than that. Uh, I know you are. You're learning. You've got fast. a lot of style. But Shaka's the same way, don't you think? In his oh, yeah. teaching, very similar. Yeah. Yeah, Chaka is a very detail-oriented shoot-around runner. That is for sure. Nice give back. That Tyler is a jumper for Prosper to give Marquette the lead. And Tyler with a nice give back. Once again, three-quarter. We're going to stick with this until you you got to go over the top somehow. There you go. Two yeah, on one or two. A bit, almost a fast break. Should have got more out of it. Yeah, they had a chance at the rim. Yeah. The juggle led to a half-court possession. And we have an illegal screen against Baylor and Ojan Luna. I love on the floor now. Great credentials coming in, fighting through injuries. Another one of their outside guys who can knock shots down. But just getting hung up. Prosper going over the top. They're trying to defeat the ball screen. And we'll see that. They'll jump to it. Mm -hmm. Exactly what they were talking about in shoot around. Here is Kolick. Igadaro couldn't put the screen down. Nice give. Oh, a pretty foul on the reverse for Igadaro. He's got eyes and he's unselfish. Tyler for the money. And his vision is exceptional. Huh? It's, it's incredible. It's a feel almost Jason Kidd like. How about that? Oh, that's that's a good comparison. Not that level, obviously, but just really he looks for his teammates first. I think we should just assume not that level. Everybody has to say that. That's true. Comparisons. I'm apologizing. That's the window for Ojan Wuna. No apologizing. Okay. Ojan Wuna. Yeah. You've been working hard all day. We always have a big on the floor. Cole like scoop. Scoop to the hoop. To the hoop. Boy, going to his dominant hand. He's got the ability to use that right hand as well, but he's clever, has a good feel, and a high forehead kiss delivery. No way the big fella's going to get this. Big time smooch. How about the open mouth as he's driving, too? I mean, he just looks like a gamer as he's going to the rim. He does. He's very confident, but he's also looking to see if somebody helps and he can slip a pass to somebody. So about 35%. And Mason prior to coming in here, so he's looking for his shots just a little bit more. That's going to make him a more effective passer, too. Yeah, I mean, the 28% from three last year is not what they expect for his career here at Marquette. No, not at all. We got Jones on the floor. Now, this kid can get into people. Really solid defender. Sean gets down in a stance and stays there. Freshman out of the state of Ohio in for Marquette. Chase Ross as well, the freshman 
who started talking to Shaka Smart when that staff was at Texas. And he's got Bonner, he's just a nice drive. Didn't finish, though. Loner got a hand on it, and there's Jones with a rebound. Marquette's made five straight field goals. Tyler's trying to get the ball over to this side of the floor so he can make something happen. Prosper, nice spin. Got it there, let's go. Well, that's what makes it tough. They don't have a center with his back to the basket. Clear out. Really good, solid dribble drive. Marquette's pressure has changed the timber of this game. Mm -hmm. Speed them up a little bit. This is an outstanding half court team. But, ooh, gave it up too early. The back out by Loder. And Bonner got caught a little bit. How about this? Not giving up on the dribble. Little gap help, then the spin out. You got to give ground. They D, affectionately known as John Wooden in the background there. Actually, very knowledgeable basketball guy. We'll give him a. What about Scott Kuykendall? Uh, talking about he, he, Scott's along for the ride. I mean, I have no <laughs> idea what he does, what his function is in this program, but. He sits next to Broker. Well, he gets his tea and coffee at the proper time, maybe. <laughs> okay. SID. Tremendous SID. Marquette, Scott Kuykendall. It's a 14 2 run for Marquette. This is Prosper. On the attack. I love the call by Shaka. One on one clear out, overload right. Prosper. Immediate impact. Just seeking the proper matchup. They love to weave and get a ball screen at their nice deflection here by Joplin. And going the other way. Beautiful reach by Joplin and Shaka Smart, who totals up deflections, is going to be real happy with that. Yeah, they're finding out quickly. I love with the little reach in here, but I like the poke away. Uh, Joplin, very alert. They do a wonderful job sniffing, being in the right spot, helping their partner out. Prosper may have been watching the World Cup with that. Uh, Fall to the ground there. Ooh, how about the U.S.? How about it? That was a lot of fun watching it. I didn't know you were that big of a soccer fan. You were into it. Yeah, I enjoy it. That was good. Another three for Marquette. Prosper has ten. NBA Global, huh? They extend the floor a little bit. Still two. Now, little drag. See if they run and jump. That's Another takeaway. It's Jones. To the rim. Jones and it places up the grass. How quick is he? Incredible speed. Uh, you mentioned the deflections. That's what Chuck has built his reputation, his career on. Uh, Deep, you mentioned it earlier, but the NBA Global Academy, it feels like every time we're at a game, there are one or two guys from that building program. We met Greg Colucci and Brian Cardinal, if you remember, at Purdue. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's part of that problem. You know, P.J. Colissimo is involved in that, too. Is it really? So these players have overcome a terrific <laughs> obstacle. Sometimes insurmountable, but they've, they've, they've done it. That's just your check to see if P.J.'s watching the game tonight. Another deflection with the big hands. Prosper. And Jones went to the ground. He blew it tired but he ended up with the ball anyway this looks a little bit like vcu doesn't it but very much so There's cam jones whirling into the lane he met a double team and off the tip seven to shoot it's a block call against baylor in the second on bridges uh, you notice this seamless uh, positionless offense right now by marquette they're having problems just containing the dribble of shaka's guys yeah and shaka smart mentioned that he said to his guys uh, on this roster everybody should be able to guard everyone that's part of the point of the way we built our roster and so we see it on the offense uh, well, the help side defense occasionally switching when necessary now they go one guy bigger with Oso on the ball screen out top well you've got to play this kid better joplin able to Get that wide open shot. He can generally convert. He's a 42% three-point shooter, the sophomore from here in Milwaukee. Now can Baylor score? Another 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 way. Way. Hold on, he can get up. Chase Ross with the hammer. Woo. All set up by the D. But this building is alive.
14 points off turnovers, and Baylor looks lost offensively. And finally, Keontae George with his first bucket. He's not lost out there, that kid. Nice little dribble drive. The highest ranked recruit in Baylor history, Keontae George. And a ton of pro scouts here to uh, look at him. Sad to say, in a way, we know it may be a one and done. That's why you enjoy it while he's here, exactly. however long he's here. And Joplin's got to improve with this. Give him a drive because we know he can make the three. He did right there. He yeah. moved right before your eyes. Absolutely. Woo. Flagler. Four, three, and that's good. You can't gamble on him. It makes you pay. All right, he, he came in 54% from three. It's amazing. You know, these guys, they've been through the wars, too. And they'll hang around. They'll get their game going a little bit. So dangerous from three as a comeback team halfway through this first half. Jones gave up that three. Yeah. Look at this kid get in the lane and stop and not charge. Joplin throws a three. Man, he just tunneled in. Absolutely. They worked hard on jump stopping with two feet and reversing out or kicking to the corner. Look how engaged Marquette is defensively. Flagler, though, got away from it, missed the three, and we're going to get over the back on Loader. Well, some pretty solid basketball by Marquette. Uh, just in the right spot. Defense has been extraordinary, no question. Big time hammer, as you alluded to. And watch this stop. A lot of guys would have bowled over. Get them organized. Nylon, number 23. Yeah, how do you do that? That is so unnatural to stop like well, that. Well, practice is a good start, obviously. Uh, yeah. And body control, which, you know, certainly some guys have better than others, obviously. Was that a shot at me? No, no. It misdirected if it was. Jones on the spin. That was lethal. And they can take you one on one. Individual D is imperative against this team. Marquette scored 55 points against Mississippi State in a full game. They have 32 early against Baylor. This three won't fall for Cryer. Nice play. Yeah, it was a really nice play. Like gold playing Ridoso. Playing bigger. Love to see that kid get on track because he can shoot deep, can go without it. Nice hesitation. Jones, no, it just trickled off the rim in time for Iguodaro. Just in the right spots. Soft shots have good results. Typical. Did you see this coming tonight? Not at all. McDowell will show some poise, though. Too well coached. It may come, but it's not here yet. The first true road game for Baylor, not going so hot. Absolutely. Finding out what you're made of at this Marquette job here or Vegas. Yeah. But well, they are on top of their game. Six wins against ranked teams last year, and obviously a different collection of people here at Marquette. They've lost a little bit, but, man, some holdovers, including Kolek and Igadaro. Uh, here's the danger. They're a little... Match up with that full court zone. They go right back. No, here's the matchup. One, one, three. You like it? Just something different. I, mean, I think he's got to shake it up a little bit. I don't like it right now. You know, about uh, Baylor. I think he might stick with it though. He's a tough shot maker though. Ben Gold this has come here. in. Yep, George flies by him, and nice recovery, but we do get a whistle against yeah. Marquette. Underneath, it might be Jones, yeah. Nice play by Gold. His well, parents are, are here. They are ready on defense event. Excuse me? I was saying Ben Gold's parents are here yeah. watching him. Well, that's all the way from New Zealand, yeah. huh? Because they were courtside today watching him perform. Big upside in this kid's game. I know he's not knocking the threes down, but the rotation's good. A big step up, too, for him. Mm -hmm. Another guy from the NBA Global Academy is George. Misses the free throw. He's been very good from the line so far this year. 13 for 17 now. Well, he jumps right out when you watch their games. What do you like most? Uh, I like his passing the most, believe it or not. Really? And I also like his ability to use both hands. And get into the rim. And defensively, he's picked up charges. 
That old pal Fran Priscilla has had a few of his games and just is astounded at his play. Tremendous analyst, Fran Priscilla, by the way. Polak working hard trying to get away from Flagler. Now he's got George. Uh, there's the matchup. They're pointing. Nice pad. Nice position. Oh, right that. It in. Nice. Uh, they were talking about getting to the spot for the proper pass and having options. Go. There's that head tap Shaka Smart was talking about, the high ball screen. This is the horn set and the roll one. They don't have that inside game unless it's from the dribble. Down to 10. Nice pass. George, the cut to score. How about the communication skills? Love. Delivery. Langston Love to find there, the freshman to his classmate. Mitchell finds himself open and hit the front iron. It's an offensive rebound. A dangerous kick out. That was deep. Might not need that. And there's plenty of full clock. Bodies everywhere. George in a scramble, and he is fouled. It's a block call against Marquette. Well, they're doing the same thing now, keeping the bigs outside, letting the handlers get to the, the lane, and hopefully to the three, uh, the free throw line. Uh, not much room here. He's strong too. Big Josh back to Ojan Wuna. He and Thama rotating. The, uh, Jonathan's out, right? John yeah. Uh, Chamwa Chachua. The, I was distracted. The crowd is into mulch here. I don't know if you heard. They were chanting <laughs> something about mulch, I believe. You pick everything up. Yeah, it's, I don't want to pick that up. There's a three from the wing for Love, and it rolls in. Well, it gets the proper bounce. Affectionate bounce for Love. <laughs> Good minutes for goal here, though. Good learning process. Probably be coming out of the or so at the scorer's table. Moving down to five minutes here in the first. Kolek trying to carve. That's what into the lane. He's great with that kick weak side. A little nickel dimer by Love. This looked like a rubber Super Bowl bouncing around the house. Uh, if this uh, local, this is the home rims when it happens this nicely, though. But good shooters, good things happen to them. You think the rim might have uh, thought it was a Bucks shooter well, when and reacted that, poorly? I'm thinking of Don Nelson with the Celtics when he made that jumper that went straight up in the air and down and beat the Lakers. Your file of plays is a pretty <laughs> well, that, that was reminiscent, although his was in the lane, like right by the foul line. And of course, the Bucks. The Dom was such a great coach here. Mm -hmm. Hall of Famer. Beautiful building here, by the way. It is. How about it? Well, this place is filled with, it almost is, I would say, quite. It's a great college atmosphere. They're going to say this is deflected. Two officials, including John Higgins, saying it's deflected. And it'll be Baylor basketball. The locals are not thrilled. Marquette by 21. You got to finish strong now for Baylor. Next five minutes are key to this game. George ready to shoot, and Good he start. knocks it down. Good start. A little over help. They bite. He was waiting for that ball, ready to pull the trigger. He's starting to show it a little bit. This is the end. I think he's improved from the beginning of the season. Look at that help. Prosper through the double into the corner. Mitchell. Nice play. Oh, so. Little tip out and Kolick missed the three. Look at the he got overrun and they ended up with it anyway. Extra pass. Kolick on the drive. And dish. And Prosper can't finish. Oh, nice delivery. Tyler. Oh, he took it away. Yeah, George really overcommitted. Prosper. No. If Baylor's going to come back and win this game, Bill, you feel like those two possessions and the empty for Marquette right. might be a big reason. Are well, they going to do a good job getting back in balance? Looking to talk and help one another on the defensive end. 
They get something going to the rim here. Nice slip. Look at the help. What a read. Nice pass. Cam Jones, the read, led to the breakout, and Prosper followed. Boy, they're just out hustling Baylor right now. I don't think that happens too often, do you? How many times has somebody said that in the last five years? Uh, no, I've not heard it once, but, but Scott really does it right now. This is not Baylor. Uh, you know, just very uncomfortable. How are we going to get back in? Got to, the speed of the game is not in their favor right now. They've got to, I think, run their half-court stuff a little now. Uh, obviously handle this pressure and make sound passes. They really... Jumping past the lanes, deflecting Marquette, really disturbing. 11 turnovers on an average of 11 and a half a game. Here's, the, fir here's the first little stack rubs that they've run. See if they get some inside action. Pryor will stop and start against Prosper. And look at the cover by Jones. And another deflection, ending up in the backcourt with three to shoot. Baylor will trigger it in. And they go over, you're right. They didn't go out in the sideline. Marquette's got to be alert here. I think they got to pick up and challenge. Don't give a chance at a shot. Don't let the guy dribble by you, though, or pass to the foul area. Well, if any family's equipped for this, it's the Drew family. <laughs> Good missed point. It. The old hook and ladder for Bryce. Yeah, right? One of the great plays of all time. It's played every year. Oh, this Brown. kid could put you on. It's, look at the, He could have gone closer. Uh, over the top. Yeah, he didn't need to yeah. either. Right. That's his second. Big Adoro. I think your worst nightmare defensively is when the coach says you're playing Sean Jones. Right. You know. Get the ankles taped. Be a tough night. He gets so low to the ground. And, and when you talk to football players, defenders, they say we, we lose a guy like that. Like a running back like Maurice Jones drew. I feel like as a big guy, you might lose him in the lane. Joe Morris with the Giants. Great one. Same, a great Syracuse runner. Same idea. And he is quick. Great anticipator. Big three minutes here for Baylor. Try and cut into this lead. George is fell. Wow. Yep. Turnover. Well, they rush. Is he okay? Let's see. Yeah, just lost his breath. And probably upset it lost his footing as well here. Again, turn in the corner. And look at that little gap defense. A little hand check. A little disruption. What do you like most about that defensive possession there? Uh, the little help side. Yeah. You stick the hand in there, pull him off a little bit. Yeah. They're in the right spot, Marquette, frequently. Uh, yeah, it, on help especially, right? On this end, they've really done some great individual plays. Very seldom with the ball screen playing real small now. As is Baylor. Loner is the five man. Kolak on the drive. Into the lane. He knew Prosper was there. Got three to shoot. Prosper skids to a stop. Fades away. Drew Iron. And the rebound swatted and available and finally picked up by Flagler. Pryor finally transition here for Baylor. And Tyler just couldn't get a spot and turn him around, but valuing the basketball uh, so important. Look at those numbers. Wow. I mean, 13 turnovers for Baylor. And I wouldn't say Scott Drew was worried about the first true road game, but it was top of mind for him. Absolutely. Him. And they turned people over 18 times, and they've had their problems at that end. A lot of easy. Look at this pass. Give it up. Jones does it himself. Well, that's kept him honest, though. His partner, Jones, running the floor. His high school team in three years was 71 and 8 with him as the captain. Ooh, another turnover. Wow. And all because they're speeding them up. Uncomfortable. Early attack, not run any of their sets. That's the 15th turnover. You ever uh, roll a ball of yarn down a staircase? No. no. That's what this looks like. We couldn't afford a, a ball of yarn. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't spare one to <laughs> see it unravel. Yeah. It's, it's been a problem.
going to get an offensive foul against Ross to actually stop the Baylor break. And it helped. It really helped Marquette. Offensive foul on Marquette number five, Chase Ross, first personal. They're going to toughen up on the defensive end. That's a good call, right? Yeah, here, I can't it. argue with it. He created the contact. Right. It's weird. It's a 22-point game. I don't know about you. I don't feel like Baylor's out of this. Oh, they, they've got so many weapons. See if they get back to that high ball screen. You got to get between the cracks and find people. They've been able to do that of late. Oh, he just turned it aside for George. Ooh, tough shot. Really tough. And he missed it for three. Offensive rebound for Bonner. Oh, not a good play here. Boy. He had a little floater. A big guy, you got to lob it. So, okay, you got a bunch of seniors, juniors on this team. How do you calm this down if you're Scott Drew? Uh, they use the timeouts. I think they just got to get the halftime and just a little skull session. Yeah. And get the guards a little more organized, a little more thorough in their approach. On the fly now, they have they've made more mistakes than you're accustomed to. Really sped up so far tonight. This is deflected out of bounds. Nine to shoot for Marquette. Now finish on a positive note here. Shock to call the timeout that his guys organized. Get a good look at nine. Oh, again, busy baskets. The deficit is larger than they would have imagined coming in here. But the preparation of Marquette's been extraordinary. The thing about it, we just saw it. When Baylor's getting shots, they're actually pretty good shots. Again, playing real small with Loner. Into the corner, Joplin. Yeah. It down. And Col uh, just unbelievable. Kolick finds and delivers. Ice it at one side. Nice cut by Loner. And he scores. Nice look, too, by Bonner. They're going to ride that. They're going to stop here to win with some confidence or at least their heads up a little bit. Well, just a feeling that they can get to the rim, right? Well, the that open middle position is at their end as well. Both teams playing really small. Jones wants a three. He takes it. And he rips it. Wow. What a killer. Got to play till the end. Gladler to heave. And Marquette is absolutely swarming the number six team in the country. I'm shocked. Totally shocked. As is Baylor. They're not themselves. 24 points off turnover. 24 nil mm. is uh, not where you want to be. This is the largest halftime deficit for Baylor since they were down 29 at Wichita State. The only guy on the roster that played in that game is Flo Thamba. He only played five minutes. They came back within eight, though, in that game. That is their 1-1-3, one, one, which ends up morphing into your matchup. Now they follow. They cut through this trip. Starts on this end. Yep, Iguodaro, tough pass. Kolick collects it. Mitchell for Kolick and a whistle and a charge. Called by Raina Tilly on Stevie Mitchell. Yeah, just didn't jump stop on the pass. A little dribble drive again. They just get in the cracks and do so many good things. You just can't jump in the air. It's a well-coached Baylor team. There's that pressure from Marquette again. Yeah. Now, what do you do once you get over? Settle. Nothing easy. And now run your action. Mitchell is right in L.J. Cryer's pocket. He turns a corner on him and scores. They ran something. Piece by piece. Now you get the stance here and guard. The spin. Oh, Rosberg got it and the ball. Well, once again, the ability to roam in that lane. Also, Igadaro so good at creating space and giving an opportunity. He vacates and look at this drop step. Boy, Prosper showing some game tonight. So many aspects of the game with the dribble drive, jumper in the corner. Great impact. I mean, he has been outstanding. 14 points on an average of 13 already. One of the many kids from Canada that had an impact in college basketball. From Quebec in Montreal. 
The first I remember, Leo Rounds. Yeah. Going way back. Yeah, absolutely. Bayheim was always ahead of his time. Yeah. <laughs> Tough shot here. LJ Cryer uh, sinks the three. Well, I don't know how he saw the rim, but look at Darro right there. A little bit large. Baylor is a great shooting team. They are top 35 in the country from three, nearly 39%. They can score fast. Igadaro fouled by Thamba. You know, he's playing the guy that handles the ball well. And if he starts sniffing and helping, terrific passer. Igadaro comes out. Thamba's been everywhere, by the way. He's originally from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Grew up in South Africa. Lived in England and France. Cole, it's wide open. There is nobody within his world at all. And he is not even thinking. He's got an open shot, knocking it down. Boy, they distribute the ball weak side. That skip pass extraordinarily well. Nice cut. Beautiful cut. Bridges the finish. He was in foul trouble in the first half. He did. He, you know, he had a couple of games where like nine points, a few games. He, he, he can help this team. He's got to make his threes. Good free throw shooter. Cam Jones saw that floater the whole way, and we're going to get a foul called against Flagler. And did you see that attention? Prosper on the weak side, ready to rebound. They're going to get Thamba on the foul. That's his third. They're in trouble up front. Yeah. And you mentioned Sean Wachachua with just that, that garish injury he had last year. Still trying to recover from that. No real timetable yet. Now he just brings so much spirit and enthusiasm. Well, speaking of that, you, you mentioned Prosper. Anybody, as you watch him on tape and in person, that he reminds you of a little bit, Omax Prosper? Well, you know, as his shooting improves, goodness, that's a tough one. I love his energy, and, and I'm astounded at his defensive end of the game. I really haven't put him in the category with anybody. You that's kind of why I asked, because he's... <laughs> I was thinking of a Clay Thompson, but he doesn't shoot like Clay did in college. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Later on, it was the NBA. I'll work on that. I'll let you know. Boy, well, he's got to, he fills so many categories. That's he, why I was wondering right. where you'd go with that. A Stevie Thompson, maybe? Oh, I like that. Cry on the side, and there's Flagler. They got some semblance of order right now. This is where they got to tee it up. Igadaro directing traffic into the lane off the clear out. He can elevate now with his size. Joplin. Good ball movement. Prosper to his right hand. <laughs> the closeout is one thing. You do that well. The rest is you got to move the puppies, get in position to take away that dribble drive. He just battered himself through that screen, by the way. Into the lane, it's Pryor, and there, Baylor has it deflected. Well, so alive tonight. Just extraordinary. All ends of the floor, and that closeout just cost them, though. Big fella, Ojan Luna. The blow by. The other end, Igadaro does so many things for this team. Nice rebound. Pryor left it short on the three, and this will stay with Baylor. And Baylor's getting good shots they in are. general. Chris, the uh, press hasn't been as tenacious. Uh, good running of the out-of-bounds play. These guys can fill it up. Yeah, LJ Cryer has three makes already in the second half. Baylor down 24. And 37% three-point shooter as well. Nice cut. Oh, take it. Oh, it didn't want to take it. See if they can get a better shot than that on this possession. Now he's going to attack. Kolik rides it into the lane. On the kick. And it goes down. Oh, Kolik is so good finding people in the opposite corner. You really can't help off the opposite corner because of that skip pass. And Joplin pays it off. Marquette perfect. Four for four and a half. Nice cut again. Oh, Bridges wiped away by Cam Jones, and that does fall down on the follow for Bridges. Well, they're starting to show some signs on the offensive end. Struggling at this end. 
can they get a stop? They haven't really had one Match here in the advanced. second half. There it is. Pryor takes it away. Look at the speed. Right down the middle. LJ Pryor for two. Well, he's showing you some game there. These kids have a lot of pride. You see the passion he's got in the second half. You're right about stringing the D together. Again. Higadaro, the weak side kick. Back to the and Prosper sinks another one. Well, Chaka with the quick timeout, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Boy, getting a piece of that tree's second lane. Woo! Does so good. Williams, so it's Prosper. And right now, season. I'd vote for Prosper. <laughs> the Heisman. For this, yeah, not the Heisman for this game, though. He has been sensational. I thought you were going to say he's played well enough to get a Heisman vote off today because he has played that well. He has been extraordinary. Again, running their stuff. A little more definitive. Nice Boy, hand. Lane had it knocked away. Tyler always in the mix. Joplin crowded out. Nice double. Oh, I thought he made a double dribble. Yeah, he got caught in between pass and dribble, didn't he? Yeah. So it's going to be Baylor ball off the held ball. We'll step aside. All Marquette in Milwaukee tonight. Modern number 24. Yeah, church Great everywhere. Tradition. Uh, what was he like for folks who never got a chance to meet him? You know, he was undersized, but could bully ball at 6'3", 6'4". A lot of strength, mid-game. Mid Three-point shot then, obviously, it, wasn't, it didn't have it, but the range was a little closer in. He left Marquette as the leading scorer in this school's history. Is That second chance won't go for Baylor, and the Golden Eagles have the ball. And he could play for Al, which <laughs> was a treat. I wish I would have met Al. Uh, he was something special. Obviously, God bless him. It's Marquette program trying to get back to the NCAA tournament. They ran into that North Carolina buzzsaw last year in the tournament. He looks so comfortable in that three-second lane. Joplin was open, and then he got bumped and fouled by George. He kept the feet in, at least from my vantage point. Uh, looking for that, too, when you extend the foot on the jump shot. That's sort of a normal landing. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, he, I mean, he kicked it a little bit, but yeah. that, not that dramatic stuff they're looking for. Big, strong kid. Mm. I think when he learns to drive the ball, or selectively drive it, I should say, he knows how to do it. Uh, matching up with that ability to make deep shots is going to be a tough out. Just putting it on tape, basically, right? For the defense to be aware of it. Right. Exactly. Something else to worry. A little bit of a matchup problem. It's not a big team, but they play bigger than their size. You check out. They're in the right spot. Step to the rebounds. Yeah, Gold is the tallest guy. He's 6'11". Everybody else is 6'9 or less. Right. But, but that's, as Shaka Smart said earlier today, that's kind of how they built this roster. It gives you like that NBA look, doesn't it, when you watch them? Mm -hmm. You know, four around one or five out totally. Igadaro is so fluid with his mobility. Yeah, he's nothing, out high defending George here. And, and nothing inside whatsoever. Not a catch. This is the only way they've gotten inside. What a play that was, huh? Wow. Let me show you something with that drop step spin delivery. I mean, that was a setup for a freshman to get to that spin move. Beautiful for George. And Jones just slammed on the brakes. <laughs> Man. Kolik got caught in midair. Oh, the punch out. Igadaro. Looked like a soccer goalie to start this thing. Joplin looked like he walked. And he knocks down a two. Great presence of mind, but he didn't keep that tippy toe on the ground where they are passing up shots for better ones. Pretty impressive. Watch the gap defense if they help. It's not just one guy guarding them. Yeah, there's the help from Igadaro against George. Tough shot. Had to shoot over him. Look at this rebound. Huh, from Igadaro. And taken away by George. Off that spin again, and he puts it in. Yeah, that's their game, too. They got to turn him over. 
They don't get back. No, Jones to the rim, left it short. Where Koenig sees the floor, though, doesn't he? I mean, he is always scanning, yeah. huh? Wire just trying to ram down the lane, do it all by himself. That's no good. Kolek got it away from Thamba. Yeah, they won't be in much of a hurry unless a good one prevails. Kolek up top through Ross. Jones declined on the shot halfway nice through the shot clock. It's Kolek on the kick to almost you. I never get it in the shooting area or the shooting pocket though. <laughs> well, you were in you were in the pocket. It was just a different pocket. I was in the pocket last night. I didn't see you go over there at all. It's of audacity. <laughs> Coaches hate when they can't complain about something. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of audacity in my time, but uh, they have played well. They don't want to get sloppy and conversely, Baylor. This is now maybe you cannot win, but you get back to playing Baylor basketball. Well, and, and they have Gonzaga on the horizon on. Friday, so it's not like it's going to get any easier for Baylor. It's a big week as that jumper won't go down to the corner for Love. Shock has really rotated guys well. Jones has been out quite a spell. Tough shot. Didn't draw anything, and now Baylor a rare transition opportunity tonight with Flagler on the pitch ahead. Bridges, no sir. Offensive rebound, Love. But he had Love on the wing too for the layup, but that's how the game has changed. Love on the wing. <laughs> Sounds. Love is in the air. Yes. Everywhere we look around. <laughs> Nice Big car. Car. Oh, with the look away and the miss for Ross. Pretty. He is so effective facing the hoop. He plays position with basketball he does. very well. A uh, little foul here, a little nickel dimer. So look, Marquette playing here at home, and this is a big building, but you said it. There are a lot of fans here. 12 straight in the win column at home. Pretty impressive. This crowd was ready tonight, too. They wanted to see some good basketball. Not very many close games winning by 15 points. This is a part of the Deer District in downtown Milwaukee. With the Bucks playing here. Well, speaking of Deer, I used to, uh, when I was coaching at Seton Hall, my athletic director, Richie Regan, would come in just before the game. And I'd say, is there much of a crowd? He'd say, Deer. <laughs> what it meant was you could shoot deer. <laughs> there's, oh. <laughs> there's nobody. There's nobody. <laughs> uh, That's a different kind of deer. Yeah, exactly. right there. It's not an wow. affectionate deer. <laughs> what is the smallest crowd you ever played in front of? We, we, had, well, we had the little building which Jim Beheim hated, Walsh Auditorium. Yeah, Walsh, Jim, yeah. It's easy to get Jim not to like something. Well, you, know? <laughs> you were just so kind to him in the first half. <laughs> well, I got to balance it out. Even it out. But no, we, we got about, I think we used to get about 3,200 if the fire marshal was in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marquette played that home game at the Al McGuire Center a couple weeks ago, and that was crazy town. Well, who would want to go there and play, huh? No. Nice hands. Punched away by Love. Ten and a half to go. Marquette by 23. And look, that's 50 of them mm. for those three. Pretty effective. Everybody that's come in has played good basketball, though. Yeah. So just, maybe they didn't score, but ran the show. Tyler back in now to run the point. And it feels like everybody's plus minus is pretty good too in terms of team defense. I would agree. But they have two point mentalities. The one that just made it, and of course this guy, Igadaro, who's a recipient, but both of them make plays. 25 the lead. Flagler cans a three. And they talk about that. You pick them up at half court. Well, and this, that type of shot is why Baylor is scary. Oh. It doesn't look like there's enough time tonight, but you never know. Yeah, absolutely. Just keep plugging away. Tie a couple of defensive trips together. 
They trapped a little in this corner. Too many people closed down. Oh, Proctor oh. looked again. Oh, he had choices too. Layup or Oso. Would you watch a game show called Layup or Oso? <laughs> I may later. <laughs> Love hangs and scores. I'm mixing it up a little bit. Again, nobody back. Oh, Prosper. A hard charge to the rim and a foul. That's hurt, too. I mean, he was not to be stopped. Is that O'John Wounded down there? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Could have given the ball up, too, by the way. If you look at that, Phil. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but he was bent on. Bringing the house down. Yeah, he was trying to get that thing laminated, I mm -hmm. think. Montreal. You been? Yes, years ago. Beautiful town. Go watch the expo? Or what, what were you doing there? No, just a, a, like a family trip. Actually, my, my cousin was going to Vietnam. And okay. we took a trip up there with him before oh. he went. Thank God he did return. Served our country. How about that? It was quite a while ago. Some sad days in our lives. Oh, my goodness. Second free throw is good for Prosper. Chucking out, trying to keep the energy up now. Extending the floor. And he said in the huddle, win this round. He's playing in segments here to keep morale high. Everything's off the dribble. It's just no back to the basket goals, no easy goals. Puts a lot of stress on that deep jumper. But it's done miracles for Scott in this program. He feels like he's got five guys on his team who are going to shoot or could shoot 40% from three or better. Pretty impressive. How do you stay in front of these guys, too? Pollock's doing it again. Ooh. Line is passed away by Igadar. Well, he is such a presence. So valuable. A lot of ways of winning, right? Doesn't have to be a seven footer. I mean, watching them, it's not. He can shoot it. Clear his goal, brings it up for three. Well, Mom and Dad in the house someplace enjoying it. Maybe a coming out party for this kid. Yeah, cool moment for him on a Wellington, New Zealand. That look at, three look goes. At that range. That is utterly incredible. Flagler knocks down another. Now Gold wants to get to the rim. He's going to get to the rim. Oh, How about the footwork? The kiss. Pure gold. He was struggling with his shot, as you said, yeah. a little bit, and some confidence building right now. For gold, uh, no question about it. Prosper with the giveaway, but gold just showing us his valuable contributions here. Yeah, boy, that really helps the cause up front. Foul situations, playing the two of them together. Long way from home. Oh yeah, Wellington, but New Zealand. Feeling good. He clearly, I mean, you know when when you get to see your parents and they're not here all the time, it's a different feeling. Mm -hmm. There's the Kirk Pennies, one of the Wisconsin greats that I got to know. Played the NBA for a while with the Miami Heat. Mitchell up ahead. A little hesitation. And they'll get it out top. I was just going to say when Gold made that three, it's not always abundantly clear who's playing what position for Marquette. That no. looks like an asset. Hey, no, no question. And it opens up the ability to get in that lane. And if you overhelp like that, down to five. It's Ross. And he missed it. Not the match he wants. Uh, oh, and Gold got a piece. Pretty. But he could have done more. Cryer. Yeah, don't you? Sort of settle. Yeah, he just wants to do something for this team that has struggled all night. Igadar over the shoulder. So impressive. A hundreds in reach. Yeah. 
Rescued by Cryer and a foul. But this crowd is having a ball, and so is Mr. Gold. Goodness. I like jewelry, but I like gold. It makes it makes a night. It makes a life. It brings people together. And we were watching that soccer match today. Yeah. And kids were banging one another. And we know there's some strife and conflict between countries. And they were helping one another out. The kids from Iran and the Americans. It was like athletics has a way of just bringing people together. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? The United States with the victory today, and they will play the Netherlands on Saturday morning in the round of 16. But Christian Pulisic giving up his entire How about that? I hope goal. he's okay. Man. Boy, good for him. I mean, he's done everything. Now he's at the goal. Little match up here again. Pulisic's got so many arm angles on his passes. Well, good teams get it back to the point guard, and that's what they've done beautifully when they've had to. Mitchell had a dangle off, rebound taken away by Bridges. George on the gas pedal, oh, couldn't get it around Iguodaro to score. He's sat for quite a while, George, hasn't he? Yeah. He's back on the floor now. Well, total four in the second half. Boy, they cover the corner as well as anybody. They always got somebody spotted up. Nice outlet. Look at these passes. Extra look. Money. Ah, that was silver. <laughs> Tarnished. It's, yeah. He's had a great night, though, gold. George ready to shoot. Always ready to shoot. Missed the three. Rebound. Mitchell took it away from Thamba. He plays with a lot of spirit, too. A little bit, I mentioned to you, Kobe Jones, a little shorter, maybe not the offensive rebounder, but so many things he does well. Again, everybody in the right location. Not rushing a shot. Yeah, tough tough luck. Real tough on the cross lane pass. Now he thinks he's Oso Iguodaro <laughs> making plays. Would you blame him? I mean, no. he has played real that that couple minute stretch you have to believe shaka smart is proud of that kid but if if you're guarding him oh so every day uh, you learn you pick up tricks and, and realize the importance of seeing others and giving it up and back to that horns look they only use it once or twice in that first half look at the mismatch in the low post but again that's not their game no mitchell Fighting with Thamba as that goes down for Cryer. Big second half for LJ Cryer. Now they've got game, those kids. Well, just maybe a little shell shock. Yeah, it happened fast. I mean, it was a 21 to 2 run, and this is tipped by George. The big run in the first half, and Baylor never recovered. No, they didn't. They're just not out of sorts totally. I mean, Marquette at one point made 16 out of 18 shots. Again, turnovers leading to baskets, too. I mean, just so detrimental in your balance. What do you think Scott Drew's thinking over there on that bench? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I know what I'd be thinking. Well, what establishment is open? Iguodaro, no. Uh, he'll get it back together, though. Oh, Jones will turn around. Shut This is a really good Baylor team. They, they will know. This will be an eye opener when people see or read about it. There's, they're out scrapping them. All night, huh? Yeah. On a regular basis. We have learned something about Marquette tonight, I feel like, huh? But I agree. Uh, they feel uh, they're upper echelon in the Big East. He's got that shot. I like it. Little flick there from the seventh or eighth, or it it was it ninth? I think it was seventh, yeah. If memory serves, oh, nice pry free Chaplin to the rim, and he puts it in once again, coughing it up, paying dearly. How about this crowd? Yeah, they love their hoops in this town, and they love Marquette. Nice handle. Pretty. Bridges just scooped it in mm. and falling down. <laughs> it's uh, Jalen Bridges falling down. <laughs> it's a oh, variation a on a theme. 
Wow, that, I, this is as surprising a result as we have seen so far this year. Mm. And there have been a lot of them. Oh, early season shockers. We are Marquette echoing through. Five zero Jones. Line change for Baylor over there. Oh, Thamba, that's a foul. He just chucked Prosper. Well, he hasn't touched the ball much, but he probably touched one of the Marquette guys. Boy, devastating. Shot 1971. They had three uh, NBA players on that Marquette team. This, this is awesome, too, though, tonight. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm totally amazed that this could have happened. I thought we were going to have a good game, and they just made it into the cakewalk. Well, how about the value of defense, though? Grab. Nope. Leading to offense. I mean, we talked about it a little bit, but Chaka Smart, three straight years, led the country in steals per game at VCU, and this had a little chaos. It, 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 the first, you mentioned early the first half, and that's what got them going. A defensive end. What do you think we learned about Marquette tonight? Uh, I think they're going to be a tough matchup because of the style. You know, everybody away from the hole. They use the whole floor. Uh, I, I, I just think defensively they create a lot of problems. Because if you overhelp, they've got deep shooters. And, and Kim Jones is starting uh, tonight. I thought he took pretty good shots. You yeah. know, and, like, and it's the one thing Shaka was saying to both of us that, you know, He's got to be comfortable in the flow, knowing when the shot is a good shot. And we saw that at Purdue when he, in opportune moment, may have yeah, jacked one up. Uh, but I just think you've got to prepare defensively for this team. You, you can't cough it up. I mean, they make you pay dearly. And they have all night long. Cam Jones, 20 tonight, 12 in the first half. The crowd was chanting overrated. Which, was that talking about the announcer? They, no, well, that's... <laughs> I think we're properly rated. They may know some people out that way. You know, we could be in trouble. But 45 to go here in Milwaukee. Again, big week for both these teams. Marquette plays Wisconsin on Saturday. And Baylor is going straight to Sioux Falls to play Gonzaga on Friday. Marquette will not have the same type of game with Wisconsin. Good guards approach and the way they're playing. That'll be a tough game. Tyler Wall. Yeah, playing terrific. That's right, going to be a foul against Baylor and Loner. Oh, the Big East season's coming up real soon, too. I mean, Marquette opens December 16th. You talk about a great conference opener. They play Creighton here to open Big East play. And we know how good Creighton is. It'll be a fun game. Do you have that by chance or not? I have to check with Lisa Byington <laughs> on that. I believe the great Lisa Byington will be here for that game. Well, nice to see her. She's with the Bucks tonight. Yeah. On a trip to New York. Well, it was just nice to have an actual good conversationalist at dinner last night. It was yeah, nice so to have Lisa. Somebody with some intelligence. Yeah, and, I, and maybe what we're talking too. about. Yeah, get a laugh. <laughs> Marquette. Last had 100 against Central Arkansas in 2019. Scotty Pippen was not on that, that team. And well, this is, this is not that type of team they're playing against either. Really impressed with the crowd here tonight, too. Very much a big influence. I mean, got the kids going, got them jacked up a little bit. Well, it was great to share basketball with you, Father. <laughs> yeah. That was cute. Well, <laughs> Coach, what we're talking about is there's a, there's a priest that's the chaplain at Marquette that people think look like me. Yeah. And one of the texts today, I had a dark jacket on, said, hello, Father. So I blessed him, and I looked for a donation. I'd like for you to have a, the opportunity to get a confessional from people every <laughs> once in a while. I think it would be highly entertaining. Baylor's going to lose by something like 30 tonight Jeez. in Milwaukee. I mean, Marquette has played as good a basketball as you're going to see if 
If this score stands, it would be Baylor's worst loss since 2007 mm. against Oklahoma. Wow. I, they don't lose like this. No, they don't. And this guy will get it going, though. He's too good, and they're good. And here comes the scout team. Who did Yeoman's work in shoot-around earlier today. We've got Mitchell Kennedy. And they work hard, as you know. Joma Lucas. Caleb Kaczynski coming in as well. L.J. Cryer is still shooting. Well, that's what he does best. So here's Wils uh, Walson into the front court, and that won't go. Do you think they expected to get in tonight? No, they did not. No, no. no chance. Loner, no. Follow is good. Exactly. Yeah, that was a love day on the yeah. tip. So, the Marquette Golden Eagles are going to beat Baylor by 26. Say that again. The Marquette Golden Eagles are going to beat Baylor by 26. Ooh. What an effort. What preparation. You talk about their details and concentration at practice. Practice, boy, show tonight. This is the biggest win for Marquette 